Hi, my name is Eddie Dijis, and I am an experienced yoga teacher uh, with 500 hours of completed training and over eight years of experience teaching. So today we're gonna go through a little movement on our chairs, and then we're gonna go through a very soothing, very relaxing yoga nidra meditation that will help heal us and cope with the difficult situation that is this pandemic. So I hope that you are well, and I hope that you can find yourself in a very comfortable seat that could support your spine, just like the one I'm using now. So let your back be supported or your spine be supported by the chair. Make sure that you could touch the floor with your feet. Lift that chest up, and that automatically helps you relax the shoulders down and back. Keep the arms by your side with the hands on your thighs. And take a deep breath in through the nose, filling that belly, filling that chest with breath. As you exhale audibly through the mouth, let everything go. Two more breaths, just like that. Filling that belly, filling that chest with breath. As you exhale audibly through the mouth, let everything go. One last deep breath in through the nose, filling that belly, filling that chest with that breath. As you exhale audibly through the mouth, let everything go. Upon finishing that exhalation, seal those lips, release the tongue to the floor of the mouth, and breathe in and out through the nose without judgment, observing your breath. Notice how smooth that breath may be as you continue to breathe in and out through the nose. We're gonna start with some movements. Breathe in here, looking center. As you breathe out through the nose, Release that chin to the chest. Breathing in again, rotating the head to the right shoulder, to the back, to the left shoulder. And as you're getting ready to breathe out again, releasing that chin back to the chest. Breathing in again, rotating the head to the left shoulder, to the back, to the right shoulder. And as you're getting ready to exhale, releasing that chin back to the chest. Breathing in again, lifting that chin and returning the head back to center, bringing the crown of the head parallel to the ceiling. Breathing in and breathing out. We're gonna do some yoga for the eyes where your head stays center. Only your eyeballs are going to move in the direction instructed. Breathe in here, breathing out here. Breathing in, look up and down, left and right and back to center. Breathing out here. Breathing in again, look right and left, down and up and back to center as you exhale. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna raise my right hand. So imagine that my fingers are your eyelids. You're going to, as you breathe in, you're going to exaggerated, do exaggerated blinks as you inhale. When you exhale, you're just gonna close your eyelids gently for the duration of that exhalation. Breathing in, blinking exaggeratedly with your eyelids. Breathing out, you're going to just gently close them and maintain them close. Releasing your hands to your thighs, breathing in, blink, 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 blink. As you exhale, gently close your eyelids. Breathing in again, blink, 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 blink. Exhale, closing those eyelids. Breathing in one last time. Blink, 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 blink. Exhale, keep those eyelids closed. Breathing in again, opening the eyes. 
bringing the hands together and rubbing them against each other, creating a little bit of heat. You are placing the center of your right palm on top of the right eye, center of the left palm on top of the left eye. You're not squeezing too hard, but you're not letting any light in, providing a little therapeutic effect for the worked out eyes. Yoga for the eyes. Two last breaths here, breathing in and out through that nose. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, slowly release the palms back to your thighs. Centering breath in and out through the nose here. Keeping that heart center lifted, keeping the crown of the head parallel to the ceiling. Breathe in, breathing out. At your next breath in, rolling the shoulders backwards three times. Breathing in, rolling the sh breathing out, rolling the shoulders forward three times. And when you're done with the rotations, release the shoulders down and back, lifting that heart center towards the ceiling. As you breathe in, lift both arms, shoulder height, palm face down. Breathing in here, breathing out, bringing the hands into a fist and squeezing. Breathe in, release the palms. Breathe out, squeeze. Breathe in, open the palms, breathe out, squeeze. Keep the hands into a fist, breathe in here, and as you breathe out, rotating the wrist clockwise three times. Breathing in, rotating the wrist counterclockwise three times. Beautiful. And when you're done with the three rounds, open the hands back up. Rotate the arms so that both palms face the ceiling. Keeping the elbows aligned to your shoulders, deep breath in here. As you breathe out, reach for your shoulders, touch your shoulders. Breathing in, extending both arms again. Breathing out, reaching for those shoulders. Breathing in, extends. Breathing out, reaching out for those shoulders. You got two more, breathe in, breathing out. One last one, breathe in and breathe out. Keep holding those shoulders and using our imagination, imagine that your elbows are markers and you wanna draw the biggest circle possible. So you wanna rotate those elbows in one direction first and draw the biggest circles you can possibly draw. Two more, same direction, opening those shoulders. Beautiful. Now the opposite direction three times. Biggest circle possible. One last one. Beautiful. And slowly release, release the arms by your side. Keep that heart lifted. At your next breath in, lift both arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Maybe the hands stay on top of the shoulders. Maybe you could bring the palms to meet. The gaze should be up at the thumbs or the ceiling, but if that stresses your neck in any way, you can look forward, keeping those shoulder blades relaxed. Deep breath in here, breathing it out. One last deep breath in, breathing it out. Breathe in, reaches up, Breathing out, bring both arms by your side. Now we do a little flow. Breathing in, you lift both arms up. Breathing out, you bring both arms by your side. Last one. Breathe in, both arms all the way up. Breathing out, both arms by your side. 
Breathe in. As you breathe out, both arms by your side. So bringing the hands by your hips. So you're using your chair as leverage for stability because we're gonna play with lifting the legs off that floor or the feet off that floor. So find a stable seat, keep the heart lifted, keep the shoulders down and back. And at your next breath in, I want you to slowly see if you can lift that right leg off the floor. It doesn't have to be straight, but see if you could just release the foot from surrender, being surrender on the mat or the floor. Deep breath in here, breathing it out. Inhale here, and as you breathe out, slowly release the right leg back to the floor. Take a centering breath here, use that chair for stability, for leverage. And at your next breath in, lift that left leg as far up as you can. And the leg does not have to be straight. It just has to be lifted. You got two last breaths here, keeping that left leg up. Keep that heart center lifted. Relax those shoulders. Deep breath in here. Breathing it out. Breathe in here and as you breathe out, slowly release that left leg down. Keep holding that chair. Now we're gonna do two legs at the same time. As you breathe in, hold on to that chair. Lift both legs off that floor. Beautiful. Keep them lifted. Now we're gonna play with our toes and ankles. Breathing in, see if you could point those toes. Breathing out, see if you could flex them. Breathe in, point. Breathe out, flex. Breathe in, point. Breathe out, flex. Keep the feet flex. Breathe in here as you breathe out, rotating the ankles clockwise three times. Then counterclockwise three times as you're breathing in. Breathe out here. And as you breathe in, slowly release the legs back down. Release the arms, bring the hands by the thighs. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling it out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, exhaling it out through the mouth. Sealing those lips, releasing the tongue to the floor of the mouth, breathing in and out through the nose. Finding that subtle breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now you're gonna bring both hands towards the right side of your hip or the right hip. Using maybe the chair if it's accessible or maybe putting the hands or the fingers underneath your right hip, see what's accessible to you. But holding onto the chair will give you a little bit more leverage. Deep breath in here. As you breathe out, see if you could look past the left shoulder. Using the leverage of the right hip or the right side of your chair. Deep breath in here, breathing it out. You got one last breath. At your next breath in, slowly look back at center. Release the hands back to the thighs and exhale here. Take a centering breath in and out through the nose as we prepare for the other side. Breathe in here as you breathe out, bring the hands towards the left hip or the left side of the chair. And again, you could bring the fingertips underneath your left hip or use the leverage of that chair. Okay, once you find stability there, keep that heart lifted, deep breath in, 
Breathing out, look past the right shoulder if possible. As far right as you can. You got two more breaths wherever you are. Deep breath in. Breathing it out. Breathing in here. Breathing it out. Breathing in, look back at center. Exhaling, returning the hands back to the thighs. Beautiful. Inhale here. Exhale here. Take another deep breath in through the nose, filling that belly, filling that chest with breath. Exhaling it out through the mouth audibly. Let everything go. And finishing that exhalation, seal those lips. Breathing in and out through that nose. Beautiful. And we are done with our asana practice or our practice with poses done in our chair. And we are going to now move on to the meditation part of our practice. So my suggestion is for you to find a more comfortable seat than something that will support your spine, something like a lounge chair or a bed or the floor. Um, find yourself lying down on the floor, comfortable. I'm going to cross the legs at the shins because that's how I feel comfortable. Um, and once you find yourself in a comfortable lounge chair or lying down on a floor or on a comfortable bed, bring the feet at least a foot away from each other. Surrender the glutes. Surrender the arms with palms facing the ceiling at least eight inches away from your body. So that's why you need a very comfortable lounge chair or bed. Surrender the back of the head, preferably not on a pillow. And if you are in a cool place, I know that we're filming this in summer, um, but your body will cool down. We're gonna be here 15 to 20 minutes. So I also suggest to put a blanket or something if, because your body will cool down significantly. And the idea is that you don't wanna move for the next 15, 20 minutes to really go inward. So lying down on your backs, take a deep breath in through the nose, exhaling it out through the mouth audibly. And upon finishing that exhalation, seal those lips, release the tongue to the floor of the mouth, closing the eyelids, and observing that breath. Is it smooth? Is it shallow due to the transition? How is your breath without judgment? Just observing it. Take a moment to observe where you are at, the room that you're at, with your eyelids closed, maybe identifying all of the noises that are happening. bringing that attention back to the body as it's surrender on the floor, on the bed, or on the lounge chair. And now bringing that attention back to that breath. With your eyelids closed, we're going to start by navigating the attention throughout the body. Because where attention goes, energy will flow. Whatever part of the body my voice says, mentally repeat it. At the same time, move your attention to that part of the body, feeling that part of the body quickly. As the body remains still, only your attention moves throughout the body. 
bringing your attention to the right side of the body, to the right thumb, right index finger, middle finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Bringing your attention to the outside of the right hand, center of the right palm, right wrist, right forearm, right upper arm, right underarm, right waist, right hip, right thigh, right knee, right calf, right shin, right ankle, sole of the right foot, top of the right foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Moving your attention to the left side of the body, to the left thumb, left index finger, middle finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Bringing your attention to the outside of the left hand, center of the left palm, left wrist, left forearm, left upper arm, left underarm, left waist, left hip, left thigh, left knee, left calf, left shin, left ankle, sole of the left foot, top of the left foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Bringing your attention to your right glute, your left glute, the right shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade, bringing your attention to your entire spine, the back of the head, the top of the head, the forehead, the right eyeball, the left eyeball, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril. Bringing your attention to your upper lip, the lower lip, the chin, the throat, the right chest, 
the left chest, bringing your attention to the center of your chest. Bringing your attention to your upper abdomen, the lower abdomen, the belly button. Bringing your attention to your entire right arm. Bringing your attention to your entire left arm. Bringing your attention to both arms at the same time. Bringing your attention to your entire right leg. Bringing your attention to your entire left leg. Bringing your attention to both legs at the same time. Bringing your attention to both glutes at the same time. Bringing your attention to both shoulder blades at the same time. Bringing your attention to your whole body. Your entire body from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. Your whole body. Bringing that attention back to your breath. This time, with your eyelids closed, observing the breath at your belly. The belly naturally rises and moves up, but every breath in, notice that as you breathe out, that belly falls down towards the spine. Breathing in, that belly rises. Breathing out, you see that belly move down towards the spine. You are observing that movement without changing it or enhancing it in any way. That is the natural way our belly moves as we breathe in and out. I want you to mentally, mentally count backwards from 27 to 1. If you lose count for any reason whatsoever, you're gonna start counting backwards again from 27. If you reach one before my voice starts speaking again, start all over again from 27. Mentally counting back and repeating. 27, belly moves up as I breathe in. 27, belly moves down as I breathe out. 26, belly moves up as I breathe in. 26, belly moves down as I breathe out. Continue mentally counting backwards at your own natural breath to one.
Now, staring at that space in between the eyebrows with your eyelids closed, the eyebrow center, the mind space. And as we start using the creative power of our mind where nothing is impossible, I want you to imagine that your body is multiplying in weight and increasing to at least eight times more its usual weight. Your body has become so heavy that you feel it sinking down into the lounge chair or your bed or the floor. For the next few breaths, imagine your body super heavy and sinking down, down, down. Now I want you to imagine, as you continue to gaze at that eyebrow center, that your body is reducing in weight and it is becoming as light as a feather. Your body suddenly feels so light that you feel it lifting off that floor, off that chair, off that bed, and float up towards the ceiling for the next few breaths. Now I want you to find that heart. Wherever you hear or feel that heart beating. Towards the center of your chest, maybe a little bit towards that left. Finding that heartbeat through that breath, in and out through the nose. As you continue to use that imagination, imagine a circle of light surrounding that heart. Picture that light any color you wish. See what pops up in the mind. Breathing in, see that light in the heart getting brighter. Breathing out, see that light return to its normal brightness. Breathe in, see that light in the heart getting brighter. Breathing out, see it return to its normal brightness. Continue in this way for the next few breaths, where your, breath, your breath in fills and brightens up that light in the heart, every single breath in. Finishing that last exhalation. Continue to gaze at that eyebrow center. As we continue to use our imagination where nothing is impossible, I want you to imagine that you are suddenly seated, cross-legged on this beautiful garden you have your hands on your knees, and you are feeling the grass beneath your seat. You open your eyes and you see this greenery surrounding you, not just the grass, but bushes, flowers, trees beyond the bushes, and mountains beyond the trees. And you look up and you notice that it's that time of day where night is about to say goodbye and the sun is about to rise. You take a deep smell in through the nose and it's such a beautiful smell of grass and different flowers and stems and plants and trees. Such a beautiful smell that you take another deep breath in and you could almost taste the lavender. 
you notice towards the east of the sky, the clouds begin to change colors from the gray to a yellow, saffron, a little bit violet as the sun begins to rise. And suddenly you see a quarter of it, big ball of fire rising. You see half of the sun all the way up. And just like in a blink, you see the sun all the way up. And you start to feel its energizing warmth on your skin, on your face, on your head. Continue to gaze at that eyebrow center. Continue to use your imagination where nothing is impossible. I want you to become the engineer of your own paradise. Whatever paradise means to you, take a few breaths and create that in the mind space. The surroundings, the smells, the tastes, the colors, the sounds and feels. Whatever paradise means to you, knowing that there is no limit to your imagination, take a few breaths and create one of your paradises in the mind space for the next few breaths now. Finishing that last breath. Continue to stare at that eyebrow center, mentally repeating whatever my voice calls out, and at the same time recreating that at that eyebrow center. Imagine a chair, a table, a journal, a pen. Imagine a camera a butterfly, a yellow tulip. Imagine a red balloon. Imagine the biggest full moon you have ever seen. Imagine the most beautiful sunset you have ever seen. Continue to gaze at that eyebrow center. This time, try not to think of anything. Any thoughts come to that mind space, acknowledge them, and then imagine seeing them pass through as if there were clouds in the sky passing from left to right, completely unengaged, unattached. Just see them pass through. If no thoughts come to the mind space, enjoy that inner silence of the mind for the next few breaths. Try to think of nothing. Continue to stare at that eyebrow center, this time scanning the face of life you're in. For whenever most of us do that, we tend to find areas in our lives that we would like to improve. Or maybe we found heartfelt desires that we would like to see manifested in our lives. Come up with an improvement or a heartfelt desire that you would like to see manifested. Come up with a short phrase as if it's already happening. For example, if 
my heartfelt desire was to become compassionate. I am compassionate should be my short phrase for today. Another example is if I wanted to become strong, I am strong should be my short phrase for today. The yogis also call this a sankalpa, a heartfelt vow or commitment. So take a few breaths now and come up with a heartfelt desire that you may have or an improvement that you would like to see manifested in your life. Come up with that short phrase as if it's already happening. And mentally, mentally repeat it three times as you continue to gaze at the eyebrow center with your eyelids closed. Looking at the eyebrow center one last time to express some mental gratitude for yourself for you came for your practice today and stayed until the very end. And as we come to the end of our practice, I want you to slowly and gently wiggle those fingers and toes rolling the wrists and ankles from left to right, swaying that head from left to right, and releasing it back and center. At your next breath in, raising the arms over the head, releasing them onto the floor or table or chair or floor. Deep breath in here as you point the toes, breathing it out. Breathe in, stretch everything. Breathing it out one last time. Breathe in and breathe out. Bending the left knee, sole of the left foot on the lounge chair or the floor. And as you breathe out, rolling onto your right hand side if you're lying down on the floor, using the upper right arm as your pillow, bringing the left hand on your abdomen to check in with yourself. Are there any differences in your breath between now and when you first started your practice? The breath should be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more smooth which is a sign that the muscles in the body are relaxed and that that mind is relaxed. According to the yogis, a relaxed mind is a healing mind. Pressing that left hand on the floor and using the right arm as leverage to lift you up into an upright seat on the lounge chair or the floor, bringing the hands to prayer, our heart center, Taking a deep breath in through the nose. As you breathe out, surrender the hips, the shoulders, relaxing the face. We're gonna take one more breath in and we're gonna own to close, or you can listen to the vibration. Breathing in through the nose. <sighs> oh. Bowing the chin to the heart. Vowing to that light within all of our hearts. Namaste. Namaste, yogis. Thank you for your time. I hope that you're feeling a little bit more relaxed, breathing a little better. And um, I hope that the rest of your day goes well. Thank you for joining me today.